looking for the latest swim technology from the fastest brands? Find the right suit for you with Swim Outlet's 2020 Tech Suit Review. Available now at swimoutlet.com slash blog. I think it's been a combination of just a lot of hard work and a lot of um, details in practice every day. My coaches are really awesome and um, I love the learning process of swimming, so they're really good with that, just um, taking each day and getting the most out of it. Um, and then that adds up, you know. So. It's finally the Olympic year, and we're starting to see the stars align for some athletes. In the women's 50-meter freestyle at the Knoxville Pro Swim, we saw Tennessee's NC2A swim star, Erica Brown, edge the defending world champion in the 50-meter free, Simone Manuel. How has Brown converted her short course speed over to long course? Definitely, there's a difference between my long course strokes and my short course strokes. I like to go underwater as long as I can, short course, and you don't have that long course. Um, so I've had to figure out how to kind of deal with that. Um, but there's also like my start work, my turn work, my exit that uh, I've had to focus on a lot because I, I watch film and I know I'm getting beat there. So um, it's just been a combination of a lot of little details. Trials is all about performance, and it's hard to make the Olympic team at your first Olympic trials. You may not know it, but Brown competed at her first Olympic trials in 2016. In 2016, I was a senior in high school, and I was honestly really struggling with swimming. I was loving the sport. I felt kind of burnt out. Um, and so actually going to that meet, I remember feeling like, why am I not super excited to be here? Because people dream of coming with me. I should be feeling that way. Um, and now looking back, um, after everything I've gone through, um, like, I can't wait to be there and I'm so grateful to have that experience. So I'm, I'm glad to say I've grown from that. So Brown can go into the 2020 Olympic trials with confidence knowing what to expect. How else is she up to her mental game? Yeah, so we actually have Dr. Joe Whitney here at the university and he is a professional with that. So he'll sit us down and he'll have us focus on breathing from our core and then we will kind of walk through our steps of the day. Like what are we going to focus on that day and how is that going to lead up to our main goal and we actually do almost every single practice before every practice so I think that's really beneficial. Um, and you kind of see exactly what you want to get out of that practice before you do it. Um, so it's, it's automatic. Making the U.S. Olympic team is all about timing, and Erica is peaking at the right time. However, the women's 50 free is going to be loaded with contenders. Even high school senior Gretchen Walsh already has an Olympic trials under her belt. I was actually the youngest person there, um, and it was not like any other meet I've ever been to. Like all the lights, the cameras, you know, walking out even for prelims, it's like so crazy. Um, but I'm so glad I've got that experience now, like under my belt, because Going to trials and never having been before, I couldn't really imagine doing that now because it is like the nerves that that me are through the roof. So um, I'm so thankful that I got that experience. And last time it was definitely more like I made it like the week before in the 53. Um, so it was just like on a whim kind of going just for fun. And I didn't do very well because I didn't swim till the last day anyways. Um, but I, this year it's definitely like higher expectations. And then there's Simone Manuel, the ultimate big meat performer. Is she feeling the pressure now that the Olympic year is upon us? No, I think I put a good amount of pressure on myself whatever year it is just because I want to perform well. So um, obviously a lot of people are talking about the Olympics, but the only thing you can do is take it one day at a time, one practice at a time, one competition at a time until it's really time to get ready for Olympic trials because that's where you have to perform before you get to the Olympics. And the game is set. Predictions. Who is going to make the women's 50 meter freestyle for Team USA? And I am certain I'm going to upset a few people. No one's beaten Simone. I said it. There, it's done. She reigns as national champ with a 23.89. Tennessee Vols Erica Brown slips in at a 24 flat, marking her Olympic birth. Go Vols! I think Gretchen Walsh is on the bubble. She's gonna impress us. I don't think she makes it in the 50. But the 50's a question mark. It is a loaded field, and I mean, there's there's Abby Weinzel, who just went a 20.9 in the 50 yard free, completely blowing my mind. She's dangerous. I have no idea what she's gonna do, but who cares what I think? What do you think?
Yes and no. I mean, every day of practice is always different depending on how you're feeling. So sometimes I wouldn't say the time changes, but what I perform may change. But yeah, I definitely have some times in mind that I like to go, or if you have a best time in practice, like obviously you try to beat it if you have 100 fast or 50 fast. So.